We always forget the Wi-Fi. Hi, guys. Hey. Hello. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> it's hump day, everybody. And we are here with um, Marie. Hi, Marie. Hello. <laughs> so Marie is um, one of my friend's daughters that's helping out um, this summer. She goes to Liberty High School. And she's a rising senior. Yep. Anything else that you would like to let the world know about Marie? Marie's like... <laughs> I like playing gopher. <laughs> what is it? Fish being my gopher. Oh, oh yes, yes. All of uh, Leslie's wild schemes yeah. and, and ideas. <laughs> All of our escapades. You have to just say, okay, Leslie. <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so Marie's going to help us do some events. I'm super excited to have her here. Thank you. And then we've got our usual suspects here. Hello. Um, and we're going to talk to you guys about what's going on this week in the area. So Yeah, it's going to be a hot one. It's going to be a hot oh one. Gosh. Whatever you do this weekend, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I know it's like 99 degrees, I think, and yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh, there it is. Yes, drink Gatorades, drink citrus juices. Yeah, it's like 99 lots of degrees water. out on Saturday, I think, and like that. And I'm sure they're going to be like, oh, it actually feels like 200. <laughs> Somebody said it was an 87 humidity, 87% humidity this week. Yeah. Yeah. That's insanity. Uh, We're all going to die. <laughs> We're going to spontaneously combust. Yeah, yes. I'm like, for sure. Here I am, the person that swears that I would never be upset about it being too hot. I mean, whenever it's winter time, I'm like, oh no. Oh no, this is too I'll hot. I'll never complain about this. This is unreasonable. <laughs> yeah, for sure. This is just off the charts. It is. It is. <laughs> uh, happy Wednesday. Thank you. <laughs> So, any shameless plugs this week? For you? Yes, actually. <laughs> um, Nolly Pop will be at Quattro Kumba this weekend, uh, one of our favorites. Um, and as always at Vanish, um, we have a couple of new projects coming up, which I can't really talk about yet, but I'm very excited. Cool. Um, cool. So, those will be probably launching the first week in August. Um, we do have a ton of new stuff in. We just got in all kinds of um, leopard print, is really hot right now. We got in two leopard print dresses, a tank top. Um, starting to bring in like the cool. quad transition stuff. See them all. Yes. So Quattro Goomba, twelve to six, both days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I was telling Marie all about your concept. Oh. On the way here. We were like, it's so cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I love it. It's fun. Um, yeah. So that's your thing. And then um, let's see here. I've got. Well, do you want to get started? Yeah, I'll start stuff? with music. Um, okay. Uh, this weekend, uh, Sinistral is having their Christmas. Hello. I mean, their Christmas in July event with bands and raffles, silent auction, food and drink specials, family friendly games, photos with Santa, which Aww, I think is hilarious. That's, that's so cute. And then he's probably in like a Hawaiian. Yes, shirt or it's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, and they are also having. Um, hey, Chris, thanks for tuning in. They're also having. They're having other music, but. Oh, that's. I don't know where I put it. Um, then uh, Uptown. I started with Manassas for some reason this week. Uh, Uptown Alley is going to have 90s night with As If. That's the fun. band. Yeah, so that'll be fun. I've heard of that band. I haven't seen them yet, but they do all that like fun 90s like right. stuff that you want to dance to. Um, and then on the 20th at 830 is Jeff from Accounting, which is also a really fun band Hi, name. Mom. <laughs> Hi. Um, also, we forgot to say we're at Tony's. Oh, yeah. Tony's, Tony's in Haymarket. Uh, Haymarket, the Dominion Valley Plaza. So. Yes, love it. Right next to Ellen. See, you See? heard someone's number being called. <laughs> it's exciting. Hey, Paul. I yeah. stalked Paul yesterday. Oh, yeah, Yeah. <laughs> he kept telling me he wanted to go in Gainesville Mug, right? Oh, and I'm nice. like, well, where do you live? What's your address? And he never gave it to me. So yesterday I was like, I'm going in the tax records and I'm finding you. And you you ask going Gainesville for a mug, you're getting, you're getting a mug. <laughs> This is serious business. To find your house. I was there for the entire escapade. It was yeah. great. This means a lot to Leslie. Yeah, he was actually just walking out of his house. Oh my like, gosh. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, so that's uh, that's my story with Paul Lately. Don't forget the Hi, wine Sherry. pairing at Taste of India, July 28th. Yes, go, go to that. I did the video on um, Taste of India. Oh, it's nice. so good. Where is that? That's the one that's by Maza. Oh, okay. 29 there behind the dollar. Oh, okay. Or whatever. Yeah. And um, 
their food's really well. Oh, yeah. Like, ever since I went to do the video, I was like, I've got to get back there. I want, But I only wanted to go if I was went to the buffet. Oh, okay. <laughs> awesome. I love Indian food. I'll have to yes. check that out. Um, then at Far Brew Live, as always, I have tons of stuff going on. Uh, today at 5 p.m. is John Schreiner. Uh, to, uh, not tomorrow, that's not. On Friday is Bart Harris. We love Bart, he's awesome. Um, Here's to the Night is playing Friday at 6.30. Uh, Saturday at 11 a.m. is James Britton, he's great. Um, really, really talented guy. Uh, Saturday at 3 is Bad With Names. Uh, Saturday at 7 is Super Bueno. <laughs> I like Fun that name. one. <laughs> uh, Sunday at 12 is High Maintenance, which I'm usually a part of, but I can't yeah. perform this weekend. I'm taking a vocal break, which yeah. kind of stinks. It's all because um, of the video on Saturday. Uh, yeah, so you talk too much. No, no, no. I'm not going to blame you. That was way too much fun. I wouldn't have missed that. That was awesome. Um, so it'll be High Maintenance with uh, Gabe and Tommy. Uh, okay. And they're awesome and wonderful. And then at 4.30 is Caleb Hacker, and I just found out that in between our the sets uh, for high maintenance, I think it's like at two thirty. Is School of Rock is going to be coming oh, up and doing a quick little performance? Yeah, so that'll be cool. Go support the kids. Yeah, morning. and you guys want to do a couple? Mm-hmm. Um, we'll have. All right, Marie. It's Marie's first announcement. Yay. Go easy on her. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, we pulled up events in Marshall, which is a little closer to where I'm from. So we have summer wine dinner series in at a field in Maine. Field in Maine. Yep. And uh, that's the 18th. Yeah, I can't attend that. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could, but it wouldn't be much fun because I can't drink. Yeah, yeah, she's. I know. I'm like she's having to do the adult segment. So yeah. We don't <laughs> condone Marie going to these events. She's just telling you about them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah. like a, what is it like a yeah, dinner and wine pairing type yeah, of thing. Yeah, tomorrow at six thirty. It's uh. It looks like maybe it's like a Portuguese uh, theme or something like that. 6.30 to 8.30, so check that out. They're an awesome restaurant. And then later tonight at 5 p.m., you have Wednesday dinner and music night out at, uh, let's see here. Johnny Monarchs. Johnny Monarchs. Oh, yeah. We did did their thing. Um, Hang on one second. Oh, so they've got, um, let's see who they have. Well, from 5 to 8, if you go there, they've got... uh, they're there, and then they've got that other bus that's with the Cambridge um, Vineyards, where they where you can do like wine or whatever. Yeah. Um, Number sixty-two and sixty-three. And then Darren Tapscott is playing. Um, they have like a green area set up now where there's like picnic tables and a little stage, and um, so he's playing there. Uh, that's that's today. Today at five. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Any. Oh, do you want to? Uh, yeah, we have exclusive night with the Hasty Brothers at Orleans. Yeah, Orleans Market. Market. Now, we've oh. not mentioned them before, but can I tell you, they are the bomb. Have you ever really? eaten there? Really? No. Have you ever eaten them? I never go out nope. in that direction. Do you know where Orleans is? Roundabout area, area, but yeah. not like specifically. So it has, it's like a village, the village of Orleans, and they've got, um, the, I honestly think they have one store there and it's that <laughs> or like market but it's super cute they've got like a deli in there um, I'm trying to think of what it's kind of similar to I don't not like Messix but kind of like that like they have like you can get um, things in the deli case like pickled eggs oh, and like cute. homemade like coconut cake and oh, all kinds of things like that. So it's just a neat little place to check out. Oh, Sorry to run. No. It's great for interrupting you. Yeah. It's all you guys to go. It's, it's great. Marshall is still typically speaking a little further out than where I am. Yeah, but she's in Remington. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it'll be church. I oh, always like going to dress up these days. Before we come, yeah. I have to Ever work. since they stopped doing that uh, carnival festival thing yeah. called by the fire department, there really hasn't been yeah. much. Call out your boss will totally believe that you're sick. <laughs> all right. Oh, let's, let's did we get through all of the, the times and everything? Did we say that? I don't know. Uh, well, the exclusive night at, with the Hasty Brothers is tomorrow is uh, July twentieth at seven thirty. Yeah, yeah, so Saturday evening. Yeah. Okay. Bluegrass and country has never sounded so good, right, Mom? Uh, <laughs> I would know. I haven't heard them. <laughs> all right. You're. Uh, 
I'll let you do, you want to do the next one? It's this one. Sure, yeah. Okay. Right. Then we have the Elysian Hill Jump Derby, uh, Saturday at 7.30 a.m. And what is that? Uh, it's just a fun combination of stadium <laughs> and cross country jumps in a single course, rolling hills, great turf, uh, intro, tra intro through training level. Perfect event for green horses or green riders. Great way to field your hunter, hunter schooling. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, have you ever, do you ride horses? No. Oh, no. <laughs> what about you? I have ridden horses in the past, but it's, again, more already gentle oh, yeah, tame one. Yeah. It's not anything new. Right. No, yeah, I'd be the person that gets over. thrown off a horse, so I'm just not tempting fate. I don't need to do anything dangerous because I'll be the one that gets hurt, so I avoid and then there's dangerous me. situations. And then there's me, like, every time I ride, I'm, you know, you are, it's not like I have my own horse, so I'm going on some trail ride, right. and I'm always like, why can't they just make us, why can't we, like, run them as fast as we can? Here's to Daredevil. And they never let, yes, can we go faster? Oh my gosh. And trotting, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'd be in the back I probably would fly. So down off. a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> right? Um, we'll skip back over to, let's see here. You were doing Manassas. Yep. Get out yep. Of I will do uh, Battle Street Concert Series is yeah. this weekend. Well, it's every weekend through the summer, I believe. Uh, Chugalug is playing tomorrow at 6. They're awesome. I think I told you guys about it. Um, they have a, uh, the lead singer is a female bass player as well. Oh, and she yeah. gets up there and whips her hair around. And she's really fun to watch. They're <laughs> a really cool. great band. Um, our, one of our favorites, One Hot Mess, is playing Battle Street Friday at 7. Um, did I say Chugalug is tomorrow at 6? One Hot Mess is Friday at 7. And then Saturday at 7 is the Tyler James Band. Cool. That's fun. Yeah. And that's right there, um, Battle Street Live, I think is near that Harris Pavilion. Okay. I haven't been yeah. to it, but I think they shut down Battle Street, and they, they have concerts there. So, um, I haven't been to one. I should, yeah, I should go check that get, out. We've got to get down there. We've got There's so much that we have, have to have to We do. say that every week, and there's so many things, <laughs> and you and I are always working. Yeah. Yep. And, then it's, and then we have kids. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Swim meets and all the craziness. The exactly. <laughs> and then I'm just here. <laughs> You'll, You'll get busy like that we'll soon enough. enough. Don't worry, pretty soon I'll be calling you being like, do you know where this is? On like random times during the weekend. I'll be like, I'm <laughs> off work. Um, <laughs> all right, I'll do a couple in Gainesville. Out of the blue today, they have their cheers to two years. They have a special $2.20 menu all day. And uh, Captain's Entrees discounted to $22.22. So mm -hmm. if you want some crab or mussels. Sounds or, really good right now. Oh, I've been wanting to get some. We should go live from there one week yeah. and, uh, and and have some crab cakes. We were talking about crab taste, cakes last week. Taste testing. Yes, market <laughs> research. It's yeah. very important for us to know what we're talking about. Especially the crab cakes. Yes. Oh my gosh. The can tell I'm hungry. The llama cake. The llama cake. The llama cake. I don't remember much from the Warrenton list, but I do remember there was an event for a llama cakes at some point. And then the we left week. the Warrenton events at home, but still managed to get a llama cake that's not Gainesville. <laughs> yes. So that's why we're yeah. laughing. We're like, I'm like, there's a llama cake. Llama cakes everywhere. <laughs> llama cakes in the house. July 20th at 1 p.m. Llama cakes um, at Simply Desserts. Uh, students will receive instructions and demonstration on how to create a six inch cake with filling, crumb coating, finishing, and buttercream and fondant accents and then it's cute this the llama cake that's the llama the cake, llama cake. <laughs> <laughs> love it um stogie sunday with tobaccoology prem will be prem and john serving up uh cigars and beers on the 21st sunday at 1 p.m they do their little uh, collaboration quite often in the summer so they will be out there probably sweating and roasting oh. their butts off but it'll be I know. fun. Every every single thing that I see that's like an outdoor event, I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm hiding. I know. <laughs> um, I will. I'll just keep going with okay. some of the stuff. Um, Flip Orly, co comedic hypnotist. Have you seen him before? No, He's but I. One but I saw that you said you were interested in. Him. Oh my He's gosh! Like, I'm like, she's interested. I'm sure with this. Really, <laughs> it's really fun. So I guess some people can be hypnotized and some people can't. Mm. And so he asks people to come up to the stage, and then if he feels like he can, he hypnotizes them and makes them do crazy stuff. I feel it's like so I funny. wouldn't be able to be hypnotized. I feel like I wouldn't either, but then I probably be the one that like goes out like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> 
Yeah, but it's really fun. I saw him at the um, the comedy place in DC, the Improv, okay. years ago, and he's hilarious. It was yeah, really good. Yeah, I would love to see that. I want to see somebody like get hypnotized and, it's and make really, them do some funny It's stuff. funny, and you kind of don't believe, but then like the husband or the wife of the person is always like, oh my God, they really did. Like, right, they would never have like a that chicken way. on the third exactly. time. Exactly. Yep, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So he's really fun. So Sorry. it's like a comedy. It's, it's a comedy show too. It's, right. it's very yeah, fun. that's awesome. Uh, now, now we we do have to talk about the Dragon Project. Oh yes, <laughs> how was it? I'm so jealous you got to go. It looked amazing. It was super fun. I mean, it was just fun to do something different, and I mean, it was it was funny. They called like this older guy out to the stage, and like oh, was, like, I love that. Beginning. Had like drinks and food, and it was just again like just something fun and just a chill to to. afternoon. And I, of course, I was like super stoked because I'm walking through, and I actually had people that were like, "I'm here because I saw the Valley of Angels." Oh, speaking of which, we need to give a shout out to Ashley Bradley, Allison. Allison Bradley. They took care of us at the Dominion Club. The yes. Other day. So if yes, hi. Allison's watching, she said that she tunes into us. Yeah, that's so awesome. that was really fun and she she was such a fun person to hang out with and makes excellent drinks. Um, so <laughs> we love her, she was great. So we I kept reminding myself. Yeah, like, shout out. it was just so fun meeting it's so, it's so fun meeting people that are like, We watch you and you're like, Really? Great. It was great. really me? Why? <laughs> I know, and no, then I'm just kidding. Then we were doing, doing a new <laughs> a new fan, uh, Kristen, or no, Crystal, mm-hmm. Crystal Thomas. Now she's she's on the page. We um, yeah. we kind of <laughs> we were meeting all kinds of we kind of ambushed her and made her do an interview with us. And so and she was like, oh my god, really? she had cool hair. She has great hair. She's she was like the rainbow. Yes. Awesome. yes. So it was really fun. Hi, Richard. Hi. Yes. Oh, sorry if I'm butchering your name. Kim Michelle. Let me know if I said it right. <laughs> then record your voice and send it in. I'm staying at the right now. <laughs> All right. Um, today's splash pad and picnic day. Oh. Um, it's the Gateway Promenade. Oh, fun. Yeah, that's a, it's. A, I, I'm the type of person like I wouldn't ne- like I never. I don't have really little kids that would probably enjoy that anymore. But I never think of that. Like, yeah. So, like. It's a great place to just sit and chill out, have a cup of coffee, and let your kids run yeah. around. So it is, and the kids love that. Yes. Oh my god, they always bring bubbles and all kinds of stuff. And fit from Long Gainesville, Bristol Haymarket. Who Nicole, who was in my Johnny Monarchs video with me, that owns that, so is is there, and it says, "Let's enjoy a cool down after stroller strides at the splash pad at Gateway Fountain for Little Tots time." So I think. Um, like she does, the way she does her workouts is, you know, the, a, a lot of moms bring their kids with them and they're in the stroller. Oh, that's so they're cute. geared specifically oh, like for that. moms, so yeah, that's probably why the events are which is really awesome. And then I'll let you go. Um, Dave Matthews Band at Shippy Loop Live this weekend. It's uh, Saturday the 20th at 8 p.m. I know a lot of people are yeah, going to be going to that. that. Be, That's a huge event I'll every just year. just go hang out with the parking lot. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that might be more of a party. And right. you, can, you can hear everything from the parking lot. <laughs> right. Might as well. I know I'm looking above it. I'm like... J-Lo's coming, but it was... Hard. Yeah, that's a capital one. I know. Yeah. Sometimes I find things that are sort of near us. Um, and as always, after party and pre-party at Eclipse. Um, yes. So you can Number hit that up after the Dave Matthews show. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's see, uh, Julie says no is an acoustic uh, Friday at seven at Tin Cannon Brewing. Oh, I'm glad you got that. Why, why didn't I get that one? Um, I don't know. Sure. I, also have, I also have Lagrange. What in the um, house? This one, every time I, I bring this guy up, it makes me laugh. The Schmidt <laughs> Show. <laughs> it makes me laugh. It's such a great <laughs> band name. Oh, I guess his last name is probably yeah, Schmidt. Really it's just a solo acoustic guy, but it makes me laugh every time I say it. It's just it's so funny. <laughs> the Schmidt Show. Uh, so that's uh, Saturday at 2 p.m. at the Winery at the Grange. Also this weekend, Sunday at 2 is Robbie Lyman. And um, also, this is super cute. On Friday at 5.30, it says it's Carly's solo ukulele gig at LaGrange. And it's just a little girl with a ukulele playing. How cute is she? It doesn't say. It just she says, looks come watch. Really she young. looks really little, like six or seven. Yeah. Like, um, so go and support Carly. That's, that's so cute. Super cool. My daughter just got a ukulele, but she hasn't learned how to play it so yet. So Chloe, um, I think it was like one of the American Idol ones. 
Oh, yes. It was all about the ukulele. It's America's Got Talent. Yeah. yeah. Well, yep. My daughter's obsessed well, with that well, girl. And so Chloe had, like, a, had a couple years ago decided to just order herself a ukulele off of Amazon for 20 bucks, and she taught herself how to play it. That's amazing. With YouTube videos. That's so sad. I didn't hear anything on YouTube. That's so cool. It's amazing. Um, right here next door to us, uh, Lion and Bull this weekend has Ashley Chevalier, Friday at 8 p.m., and Ghost Pepper, uh, Saturday at 9 p.m. So that's, uh, and Giuseppe's in Haymarket has, uh, oh, Madison Highway, oh, Madison Highway Band, um, uh, Saturday at doesn't say what time, but I'm assuming probably like seven or eight. Yeah, and then also I thought, oh, no, that's what I was going to say, Mercury oh. Avenue. I was like, I know oh, that. Yes, in Mercury Avenue at 8 p.m. on Friday. That's cool. That's all at Giuseppe's and Haymarket. Now, do you know Mercury Avenue? I don't. There were, I, there were, I think there were like two high school kids or something. No, and I saw the picture and it did look like they were yeah. like a young duo. Like yeah. Sort of thing. That sounds really fun. popular in this area. I didn't even so. really know that Giuseppe's did like music. I knew that they did like karaoke and stuff like that. But yeah. I, I think that must be sort of new. I think they do, like it's just not like on the regular. No, no like, like I'll go in the little Bob Dixon will play there. Oh, right. You know, right. like I'll see him play there or um, I know they have a woman yeah. yeah. woman too that he's like the one that I probably, yeah. I know him so I can do. Um, Throwback Thursdays at Rockwood. I think that's just all summer. That's tomorrow at 9 p.m. Go out there and listen to some fun music from 9 to 2. We've got the, this must be every Sunday because I've been talking so sort of talking about the same thing. No, I'm just <laughs> I'm totally joking. No, um, I was just saying, I recognize saying it like the past two weeks. The Mopar Club, there's the um, Car Club Sunday Fun Day thing at Mazda 29. So that's uh, 4 p.m. And then tonight at Eclipse is the Wednesday night dancing. Line dancing. <laughs> we will get to that. We're like, we're going to go. We will get Maria, to that. Do you know how to line dance? Country line dance. Line dance? No, Do you want to learn? learn square dancing in <laughs> elementary oh, that's a good school. Thing. Yeah, I used to actually like square dancing. I did square too. dancing when it in school. Yes, like, that's so fun. I did too. I think probably the weirdest thing though is they taught us to do the Cupid Shuffle and transition from square dancing into the Cupid Shuffle in one song. Oh, it was weird. Well, that sounds interesting. <laughs> it was weird, but it it, it happened. But you are, <laughs> probably still remember exactly how to do all of it, right? All right, yeah, down the street. A little bit. I know. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so if we go on a field trip to do line dancing, are you in? Sure. All right. All right. She's, She's in. in. <laughs> I like it. See, she will do anything you ask her to do. Don't I love she, it. Yeah, I know. She's like, don't worry. I'll get so like up with my fake ID tonight. To get in. <laughs> <laughs> no, as long yeah. as it's not illegal. <laughs> um, Friday night lights. Sixty-nine seventy-two. At um, Lockwood. Um, the 19th Friday at 10 p.m. So go out um, and hang out on the patio there. It's really cool. They've got a good mix of music. It seems like it's kind of just a mix of everything. And they have a DJ there. Awesome. Yep. Um, I have, I've switched over to Warrington. So I've got Old Bus Head Brewing Company has Janelle Delaya. Okay. Uh, Saturday at 6.30 and Social Yoga on tap with Rachel Bussing. And I've seen how they set it up. They have like a little stage, and they, I guess she gets up on the stage and does yoga. And then you, they call it detox to retox when they do these things at the breweries. So you do your workout, and then you just, um, I know. all the does. calories you burned, you just drink them back. Yeah, so it's like a wash. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you feel but, good about yourself. And it keeps you motivated. Like, yeah. if I can just yeah. get through this, I can have a pour, beer. Pour more, and I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then also in Warrington, they're having stand-up comedy night at McMahon's, uh, Saturday at 8. And wine tasting Wednesday is tonight at Denman Pearls, at, um, today at 5 p.m. So cool. that's that's all I have except for one thing in Woodbridge, but I'll let you do whatever okay. you've got going on. Um, I think I've got a, a cookies, or Christmas in July story time and all day is um, July 19th, which is this Friday again at noon at Cookies and Cream. So you can go another fun thing for the kids to take them um, and you know celebrate Christmas in the summer like it seems yeah. like everybody's been yeah. doing now. It's a cool thing. It's the cool thing to do. Yes, this time of year. Um, then we have our the farmers market that's uh, every Thursday at Winery at Lagrange. 
The Schmidt Show. The Schmidt Show. We won't talk about that <laughs> again. Um, <laughs> we keep talking about it. Best banding ever. Um, let's see here. What's this? Uh, Mom's Night Out. Relax, recover, and refill your glass with champagne or wine with RXR3. Um, relax, recover, and refill. It's. I know it's... Um, the place is next to Next Level Fitness. No. And it's kind of like, I know they have like, what's the booth that you go in and it's all cold in there and it's for like losing, I don't know if it's for losing oh. weight or it's good for your body. Somehow. Yeah. They've got interesting like, um, like the, services the like floating that. Tank? They have they have uh, one of the oh, you try that. I did it. I did it. I was like after like half an hour I'm like, Oh my god, I'm so bored I have to get out of here. <laughs> when everybody used to go in the tank bed. Remember that? Like you could lay in the tank bed and you're like mm, okay, I wanna get out. <laughs> no, it was so bad. It was so bad. But I miss being tan. Yes. Like now I'm, I'm all old. I'm like I'm gonna get a wrinkle if I'm in the sun. I know. <laughs> Those were different days where we're like let's go bake, right? Now I'm thinking about like booking a vacation. I'm like maybe I'll go to like Finland. There's no sun there to mess up my skin. Um, <laughs> July 20th is an ice cream social um, at Cookies and Cream as well. So that's at 6 p.m. And then I think. Well, we didn't talk about that. There's oh, the Frenchman. Uh, what is it? The Frenchman food truck. Food truck. Yeah. Okay, is it Ko Distilling? I had their food last weekend, and it was so good. They were yeah. at the farm at Broad Run, and it was so sandwich good. Which with the egg on it. Oh, um, and with everything with eggs. I know, but it, you want to know what's funny is I had it, and the whole time I was eating it, I was like, I'm eating mothers and babies. Oh my god. You would think of that. Oh my god. You're gonna become Hi. a vegetarian now. <laughs> Hi Joe Pineapple. Oh my god. Hi, <laughs> You're killing my me. dad's on him. Oh hi Dad. <laughs> um, do you have anything for the farm at Broad Run? I, I can't find. I know they have music, but um, I can't find. I know I printed it out. Yeah, I didn't. Wait. See, I, put it I lost it. it. I'm telling you, some weird thing must have gotten checked because like it didn't it's all different off stuff. A lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm missing some things too. Um, the Farm at Broad Run has music every every weekend, so definitely go check that out. Um, and Marie has two more things to talk about. All right. I think this sounds cool. I like doing like some good stuff yeah. for right. the kids. Well, for the ages of nine to twelve, there is a steam thing going on for tweens. And from what this sounds like, it says here that children 9 to 12 will learn STEAM concepts while having fun. Space is limited, registration required. Call or come by your nearest library location to register. Which and library? they just, all that they have here I for the Fauquier County is Library. Oh. Oh, yeah. What'd you look at that? The Fauquier County uh, Library. Is that the one and in Old Town Warrington? That's that Marie, you're supposed to know this. You're from Fauquier. <laughs> I only you know, know the everything about there's the Bielsen Library, there's the Warrenson Library, and then I have not heard of a Fauquier Co. Library. Like, we, we know them by the town And what does uh, STEAM stand for? Uh, science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. See, that was going to take me a while. See, you know that because you're in high school. My right. daughter would have known that like this, and I'm like, hold on. All right, S is for him. Right, I know. It's I'm often confused with way. STEM because that's what right. STEM that's is just a... STEM is uh, the same thing except excluding the art part. Oh, uh, right. I think it's because STEM is for girls. STEM is for boys. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> because we can make it look pretty and functional. Yes, oh my gosh. Um, and then, I don't know. But, well, there's, the, yeah, I mean, it's not like a super, like an event, but it's on. Um, well, it's every Wednesday, 12 to 7. Every Wednesday, 12 to 7, we got burgers and brew. And how much is it? Uh, can you can see that? I'm about like, $19. Oh. Looks like? No, I can't tell. Hey, hey that just on, looks like circle, circle, circle. Oh, ten ninety nine. All right, I was way off. Wednesdays at um, noon to seven at um, Gentle Harvest in Marshall, which is a newer, like, kind of a, it's kind of like a specialty little grocery store, like a lot of organic oh, stuff. cute. Gonna have to go to Marshall. Actually, I've heard of Great Harvest, but I've heard of Great Harvest, and, Harvest, Harvest. and I've seen it. Oh wait, but no, I... this one's Gentle Harvest, though. So. Then never You're thinking of the one in uh, Marshall, so, but they're uh, good too. They do more of like they do more bread. Yeah, that's a chain oh. one. Yeah, I've seen those at other places. Gentle Harvest. 
It's probably a, I think it's a chain too, not 100%, but like I said, they have um, not like a whole grocery, like a yeah. grocery store section. Oh, it's fun. Cool. Yeah. So, anybody? Oh, and Marshall's not far from here. It's not. It's I mean, really especially not. if you're in your, if you're in Haymarket. Yeah. For it's not sure. far. It's like. We're from Gainesville, what, 20 minutes? Right. Yeah, maybe something like that yeah. at the most. Yeah. And then, yeah. um. Oh, I forgot my, my one last thing. I yeah, I'll try sure that because. My other favorite burger place is in Marshall. Oh, the whole ox. Oh, Hurry, no. You gotta go. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I need a whole field trip to Marshall. Yeah, I'm gonna take you around the Marshall. No, there was stuff to do in Marshall. You. Okay. Country line I'm dancing. In. Let's do it. And then a tour of Marshall. Hi, Billy. Hi. Um, so, my last thing, um, I just like to throw this in because Woodbridge really isn't that far from Gainesville. Um, the Electric Palm, if you have you been there? I don't. It's the, um, I think that's the one I, I it's was. It's at the harbor. It's uh, like they have all the boats right out front, and it's it's a really cool little spot, what like right on the water. What was one place? I think we might have talked about this one time. Yeah. I was like, I've been to this other, but it wasn't. It was though. Oasis for a while, yeah. and then it was it was something else before. Geckos. Geckos. It was Geckos. Right. But it used to have dance parties there. Embarrassingly um, enough, Thursday nights were. I did used to. They had college hang nights. It. Yeah. Echoes was fun. Echoes was fun. Yes, it was really fun. We used to make the trip all the way out there just for like, I think it was Thursday night college night yeah. dancing. A quarter day night. Yeah, they had good DJs no. and everything. But then <laughs> it was always a and they had bands. So that's on another, it's near there. Mm -hmm. But the Electric Palm has, um, it's right on, uh, I think it's Prince, Prince William Marina. I'll have to, I'll have I think so. Um, but it's cool, like they roll up the, the big garage door, so you're literally just sitting there, like right in the marina. It's so cool. Oh, that's nice. um, So they're having like some that. really good bands this weekend. Uh, the new 30 band is Joe. Friday at 8:30. Hi, Joe. Um, Wicked Jezebel is Saturday at 8:30, and then my friend Vicky is one of the best singers in the area, and she is with the band called Five by Five. 8:30 at Sunday, and I'm not joking. This girl can wail. She is wow. one of the best singers in the area. I, I love, love her voice like that. Oh my gosh, just, like, she can sing like, like. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to think of what she does. She does like everything really beautifully. Oh yeah, my right. God, yes. I mean, she just has so much soul in her voice, and she's such a sweet person. She's always uh, supporting my my business. So if Vicky's on here, hi Vicky. Oh, no, I'm she's like, wonderful. I, don't know, I really want to hear her. And you know what's great about Woodbridge? It kind of feels YouTube. Stalker. Oh yeah, People have gotta have looks. Oh no, she has she has stuff, stuff on her page for sure. Um, but another thing that I really like about Woodbridge is it almost feels like you're on a little mini vacation because you go down to the water. Right. So it's not far and it's not a beach beach, but there are places along the Potomac that do have beaches. I think Pennsylvania has like a little beach, and um, if you go down a little bit further, like towards Fredericksburg, it's. Um, um, Fairview Beach, oh, and they yeah. have a couple of places with sand beaches that you can go out, and um, a little yeah, bit further down is Colonial Beach, which is only about an hour from here. So there, it, it's nice to know, know that there's another, places on the Potomac. That another you can, little beachy place that I really like is. Um, have you ever been to? It's Lake Arrowhead, I think it's in Blue Ray. Oh, Blue Ray. Yeah. Blue Ray. Blue <laughs> Ray. You have to say it right. Blue Ray. <laughs> but they have a, it's a really like I've um, heard of it. people yeah. that want to get to a beach or something. Yeah. There's it's, a couple places out no, that it's, way. It's really, you know, who would have thought there'd be a place like that there, but they've got, um, you know, like stuff floating in the water. Maybe we should do a, um, like a mini vacay edition, because I know like Harper's Ferry has like the, the tubes that you can ride on. I think there's a place called Watermelon Park that, uh, that I've never been to, but like we should maybe have a, a special edition talking about like the little mini vacays you can take well, less than an hour from Gainesville. And also another thing about cool about Watermelon Park is they're the biggest um, bluegrass festival oh, in all fine. of the United States that they have once a year. Really? Yeah. Ooh. I went to that like all right, two years break ago. break out our microphones. Yes. <laughs> so we'll, uh, get our microphones and we'll be like, yes. get your banjo on. Yes. <laughs> I'd love to go to that. We'll have to find out when that is. Yeah, I think it's in the um, fall, so. Cool. Anywho, well... I think that's all I got. Yeah, we, okay. and it's I actually remembered the library for the esteem. There is the Marshall Library. Oh, okay. Okay. Which that makes sense. You're doing Marshall. Okay. It took me a minute there. I usually forget about the Marshall Library. I'm sorry. Anyone who lives in Marshall. Bad. You're bad. You're bad. You're bad. Don't today. ever forget about Marshall Library. <laughs> you did an awesome <laughs> yes. job. You did an awesome job. Big round of applause for Marie. Thanks yes, for Marie. being here. Thanks for yeah. being on camera and being a good sport. <laughs> <laughs> or he's whether like, you want to or not, not exactly um what does john say real quick we went to different schools together mm -hmm. oh. 
Not me, because I'm from Chicago. Unless somebody from oh. Chicago jumped on oh. here. No. <laughs> All right. Well, we will catch everybody um, next week. And yes. until then, stay cool this weekend, guys. Everybody, everybody be safe. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Hydrate. Yes. Hydrate. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>